Justin Cross here again. So, it's really been interesting to see all these people, all these Christians within all these cults that talk about the Old Testament um, in a way that's so disrespectful and ridiculous as if it doesn't matter. And they say, no, they don't throw it out, they don't get rid of it, but in the same sense, they don't obey it. Isn't that getting rid of it? When I went to that false church, a cult, called the Church of Christ, these people would say, okay, that was the Old Testament, but where in the New Testament does it say that? And it was so funny, it's like, well, it doesn't say in the New Testament. That's why we know that the, it was never changed. Here's the thing, so you understand how the Bible is created. The Old Testament is a Christian life. It's how we're supposed to live our life. It's got all the rules and laws in it that we abide by, or we're supposed to. The New Testament goes and, what is the word, corresponds to the Old Testament? Not The New Testament is the New Covenant that goes to the Old Testament. So here's the Old Testament, here's the New Testament. That New Testament goes with that Old and changes things within the Old Testament, and certain laws are no longer the same in the Old Testament. But, only the laws that were um, spoken about in the New Testament are um, now different. If it's not touched in the New Testament, if, the, if it never touches it in the Old Testament, then that law still stands. So you have the Christianity, which is, you have the Old Testament, which is all these things about Christianity. Then you got the New Testament, which is, changes some things within the Old Testament. But still, over half of Christianity and understanding the way we're supposed to live our life are in the Old Testament. So, a lot of people and false belief, religions out there, and a lot of you people who just say, we're in the New Testament, doesn't say that. How can you actually lie and call yourselves Christians when you don't believe in the whole Bible? And then you lie and say, well, I do believe in the whole Bible, and da, 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 but I only obey the New Testament. What a ridiculous, stupid, idiotic thing to say. It's, it's ridiculous. Either you believe in the Bible or you don't. You cannot pick and choose. I know people today who only believe in angels and don't believe in God. Or they believe in God and angels and don't believe in demons or Lucifer. People grab things out of the Bible, pick and choose, and create their own belief system out of it. And you could lie and call yourself a Christian and only believe in the New Testament, but that's not going to be true, because you need to believe in the Bible, not just a portion of the Bible and what you want to agree with. Now, I understand that it's a lot easier just to go by the sweet, lovey-dovey stuff in the New Testament, because we don't want to obey everything in the Old Testament, because it gets pretty hardcore. But the thing is, is within the Bible... If that thing was not changed in the New Testament, and the New Testament never talks about it, it never says anything about that certain subject in the Old Testament, does not mean that you get to throw that law away and no longer abide by it. It doesn't. So for you people out there who are saying New Testament only, shame on you, and you need to work that out with the Lord and start asking Him to change your heart. Because this is not a little thing. This isn't one of those little disagreements that you find within de different denominations, like a watered-down Baptist denomination versus a very watered-down Presbyterian denomination. You know, this isn't about whether um, animals go to heaven or not when they die, or any of that crap. This is a big deal. This is you not believing in the Bible, and not believing in God's Word. And to throw away the whole Old Testament and still call yourselves a Christian... It puts you right there with the Church of Christ, Mormonism, uh, Islam, all those other cults. So be careful what you do. Be careful what you say. And maybe you should start reading the whole Bible and see that within the Bible it tells you you're not allowed to just throw it away. That's all I have to say in this video. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. Bye-bye.